So Jim Cramer turns bearish on Bitcoin and every single time this guy is turning bearish on Bitcoin, Bitcoin is reaching pumps. Funny enough, it's also coinciding with this, what Mr. Jason Pisano actually pointed out. He said that we've got extreme fear. That's something that we are experiencing on the market at the moment. Bitcoin is a scam type of a comment. Um, you said it would pump comments, right? And that's something that is sometimes reflecting on my videos as well. Altcoins getting crushed again and stock markets macro bullish check and we've got real estate macro bullish guys that basically is bitcoin bull market correction again that is just a correction answering your worries and questions i believe we are still in the bull cycle another big news potentially is that this guy is going to get fired hopefully he will and i'm not going to talk about politics in here guys but you know regardless of who's going to become a president this is good news that this guy is going to get fired. And also Mr. Quantin pointed out that the bull trap before the halving was glorious and the current bear trap is even better. So that first leg outside of accumulation that I usually mention on, on the charts and I'm telling you about, well, could also be considered as bull trap because that's what it was basically. So the current bear trap is even better. And this is what we are experiencing. Well, at least to me, right? Because we've got three whales that have accumulated 2,814 Bitcoins that's worth 154 million since September the 1st. And for every panic selling, there is someone buying cheap BTC. So how funny is that? People that have lots of cash are scooping up Bitcoin. They know what is happening. They can read these charts, guys. And of course, they know the sentiment so on and so forth but anyways let's have a look at liquidity so at the 24 hourly heat map let's say for btc this is what's going on i know what you're thinking we are going to get into price of caspa very soon but first i want to show you a couple of different well details basically to put things into perspective so this is what's brewing at the moment guys this is what BTC is currently at on Binance and we've got significant levels of liquidity in this level. However, seven daily chart is looking like this, guys. That's why I have basically put an alert over here. Well, just to show you guys pretty much how this price is basically going towards liquidity and at the moment we've got this pump for btc on four hourly at least okay let me actually switch it to the daily quickly so as you see on a daily time frame btc is basically experiencing well lows in rsi stochastic rsi and well this is the scenario number one scenario number two is going to be well this but anyway sooner or later this is going to happen anyways but all right guys Let's leave BTC and let's actually have a look at Caspa's chart. So let's have a look at four hourly time frame for Caspa. So guys, as I was mentioning in yesterday's update, um, I was mentioning that we might see scenario number one, which is basically repeating that well second high for stochastic RSI and then dump, or just be here for a while because stochastic RSI can be in that area of ceiling for a while if the momentum obviously is strong. And this is what basically is brewing. As you can see, this candle basically represents a very strong buying pressure and at the moment let's see how this candle is going to close that's only four hourly guys so it's not really a big deal but if we are going to well on four hourly time frame if caspa is going to retest this level as a support i don't think that this is something to be worried about so that's basically going to be what around a couple of percent pretty much one percent so that's nothing guys right but of course if you are you know scalping i believe that you know it's something anyways let's have a look at the daily so at the daily time frame guys you can see this very very strong momentum basically stochastic rsi is basically going towards the upside and let's see if caspa can actually reach this level which is going to be well almost 16 cents basically so well let's have a look at the weekly time frame guys there's one thing on the weekly time frame that i would like to show you and that's something that i'm actually going to show you on x very soon but i would like to point out the fact that stochastic Stochastic RSI on a weekly has properly bottomed out for Caspa, so we could see continuation of that upward sloping trend line, which actually is prepared in here for you guys. So make sure that you follow me on X and Caspa looks super bullish as the price is properly above the upward sloping trend line that started the move in November last year. As long as price of Caspa will hold on to the trend line, things are juicy and any dip is meant for buying. And this is what I'm thinking guys, because that's going on ever since November 2023. And as you can see in here, Caspa never dipped below. So Funny enough, I saw some comments saying that Caspa is going to be at 5 cents. I don't think that this is going to happen. 
well of course everything is possible in this market but you know looking at standpoint of technicals i believe if caspa is going to dip somewhere in here that's going to be another great level to accumulate pretty much because you know overall trajectory is bullish especially especially considering the fact that you know we had a proper sell-off already caspa has already experienced the proper sell-off so well what can potentially happen of course i don't know this video is not financial advice i'm just sharing my opinions with you ladies and gents if there are any ladies hello there we could see probably something like this because we can also argue that caspa is you know trading in that channel that i was basically mentioning about right so caspa can potentially see well something like this and then rejection probably 27 cents maybe this level even let's see how that is going to go because price of caspa can go sideways for a while then probably retest this level as a support that is going to be well let's say fourth time we've got number one here we've got number two in here number three and if that is going to be the case if that is going to happen that's going to be the fourth time and then probably this heck let's see if i'm right in coming weeks i don't know this is something that well it's in my mind a couple of different charts so we've got the most powerful part of bitcoin's bull run that begins according to mr arulin and he's saying that mayor bands target is 200k so well if we are going to look at these bands btc is basically topping or getting rejected just like in here from this red line so if we are going to see the top in this cycle for this band that could be around 200k heck let's see things are looking very bullish for crypto in general but anyways these are altcoins so altcoins have been in downtrend since march 2024 hits a new all-time high 287 days after halving three to three and a half trillion will be the cycle top q4 will kick start the old coins rally but the real fund will begin in q1 2025 so guys this is what i'm thinking as well even if we are going to go towards the upside and old coins are finally going to break this uptrend please make sure that you remember that nothing goes forever vertically in terms of candles of course so what i'm trying to get at in here is that you should take your profits along the way. Sir Max is basically saying that this is last dip before up only territory. And that is going to coincide with this resistance and the support. So that is basically very, very similar to what Caspa is doing. Upward moving channel. Now we've got total crypto market cap that is excluding Bitcoin on a three weekly chart. Meaning that is also including Ethereum and of course excluding BTC. Mr. Prof is saying that history doesn't repeat itself but it often rhymes. And chart looks still very similar to 2016-2017 and it's just taken longer. As soon as the RSI breaks through the downtrend 3 weekly chart, he expects fireworks. So let's have a look at RSI. So as you guys see, if that RSI is going to break towards the upside above this trend, then we could see some fireworks but heck let's see so as you guys notice probably is that this cycle we still haven't had these huge green oversold areas for you know the whole crypto market cap so the wave two is going to come i believe when exactly nobody really knows but what i know for sure is that you should guys be prepared because now is the best time to buy basically when there is fear in the street well not a financial advice of course just my opinion again because well when there are going to be huge green candles i don't think that this is a good time to buy but anyways another chart so bitcoin bull run will be back so let's have a look at this fractal so basically that's what happened between tw september 2020 and april 2021 so we had the falling wedge then we had another let's say falling wedge slash bull flag and this is what happened for btc in 2021 and well now pretty much similar scenario so looks like btc is basically copying that scenario anyways mr titan is highlighting that altcoins are ready to take the spotlight well he's asking well you tell me guys in the comments down below bitcoin dominance is on the verge of printing a new lower high this could trigger an old season between q4 2024 and q1 2025 so guys good times are coming so guys if that is going to drop that is going to be very very juicy for altcoins and of course for our beloved caspa take your profits along the way because it's definitely better to come out as a winner this cycle and have something rather than waiting for this 5 10 15 or 100 dollars target for caspa or whatever crypto coin that you might be holding so thank you very much for watching and i wish you having a great day peace and love crypto